Hello, and welcome to another installment of your favorite internet show, Nontent, with your host, me, Katie Ann. This is a series in which I just talk about nothing for about 15 to 20 minutes, edit it down to a reasonable length, post it, and say, you know what? Everything, Everything is, content. is content. Thank you, my dear Wallace. I haven't posted a video in two weeks, and so I have to post two videos this week so that my aesthetic lines up because I'm hosting a live stream for the Worldwide Redathon. So in today's episode of Nontent, I'm gonna be talking about writing burnouts, writing binges, what's kind of happening with writing at the moment, all while sorting through a bunch of clothing because I bought some clothes a couple weeks ago and now my bins are overflowing and they're so disorganized and I'm supposed to do this anyway. So two birds, one stone, non-tent, getting shit done. In the meantime, I'm joined today by a chocolate hazelnut cream coffee, delicious with a little dancing tom-tom. So if you're wondering what my strategy is here, all of the clothes that I wear on a normal basis will be going up here. Any clothes I'm on the fence about will be going in the corner and any clothes that have sentimental value to me will be going over here. And essentially those clothes will then be turned into a quilt once I have enough of them. I think I have some fun memories in here that I could talk about maybe. Do I wanna keep this shirt? That's also the question I have to ask myself. Does this piece of clothing spark joy? I know you're gonna see a lot of this clothing and be like, Katie, it all looks the same. And that's because I wear the same clothing every single day because I'm a creature of comfort and habit. And I have found that uh, I just wanna wear neutral basics all the time with sweatpants because I don't leave the house. So I've been struggling a little bit least recently. And when I say struggle, I don't really mean struggle. Do I actually like this shirt? I should wear it for a video. I bought this several years ago when I was working. This is like a nice lightweight summer work shirt, but I have not worked in two years because my job closed down. So um, I used to work at a family video. Rest in peace, gone but not forgotten. Theoretically, writing should be going on. In case you missed it, I wrote a book and now I'm editing that book to query in August. Hmm, don't think that deadline's gonna happen. I think it'll be end of August, if August at all. <sighs> we're really gonna see how much revision is gonna be needed after this revision because this revision is humongous. I'm gonna try to do two revisions. One is the first like big developmental arc, figuring out all the shit that's happened in this book. Getting it to be cutesy rom-com is I, apparently working out. I sent the first two chapters to Miranda, my good friend Miranda, thank you Miranda for putting up with me. And she thinks that it is way more fresh sounding now, which is good because the beginning of the book was really, I mean, I really just wrote the beginning of the book to get to the fun parts later. And so, you know, there's no plot in the beginning of the book. And at the same time, I am drafting a new book, a book, a second book in the series. So sorry to that book, but I don't think it's ever gonna be published. It's just so dark and so much darker. I, okay, so pausing on that conversation here. I got this shirt. It's this like cute stripy top. Basically my boss at work was switching stores, is moving. And me and my coworker, my best friend from college, we worked there together. She gave us a bunch of her old clothes she wasn't keeping, sorted through it and we picked the stuff we wanted. And this was one of the ones that I picked. Sadly, three weeks after that, COVID happened. So I did not get a chance to wear this like anywhere. And I didn't get to wear it to work. And I kind of was keeping it at the bottom of my dresser here, my drawers here, because uh, it was sad to look at because I was like this, this map belonged to my manager, who I love very much and haven't spoken to in a while because, you know, path li life has gone on a different path. Anyway, I think this is gonna go in the keep, but like with this other work shirt that I have over here of like, if I don't wear it within the next six months, she's gone. This was a Christmas present as my weekend is all booked. It has a girl reading books uh, because my family knows I love, I love reading. Not that I've been reading much recently, that's been a problem. My mother is one where she loves quirky t-shirts. Um, I have another one I'll show you in a minute. She bought me this. My needs are simple because she knows me well. Future best-selling author from my dad. How lovely, you know, we're manifesting here. We're manifesting. It's a little bit um, obnoxious, which is why I don't wear it on camera, <laughs> but I do sometimes wear it around. <laughs> I wear it around the house because I don't leave. Okay, so now we're kind of into old clothes. Okay, this shirt can just get fucking tossed. It's ancient. I like the pocket, but it's also from Charlotte Ruth. So like the quality is not there. <laughs> We're just gonna toss it. There's a bunch of holes in it. it. It's not great. So she's getting tossed like in the garbage. Oh, this is another one that needs to get just tossed out the window. No, not out the window. We don't litter in this household. It doesn't even look black anymore. <laughs> it's like really, I'll think about this one. What is this? Why are you inside out? Oh, here we go. Here's one that I love that is going in my keepsake pile. First one to the keepsake pile. This is a university shirt. So I was in an honors college. And so I lived there for a year and then I was still helping out my junior year. The senior year, I helped with move in and like did orientation and stuff. And they gave us these shirts that say staff on the back. There's another one that I think might be in my other drawer that is a college 
move in day and it has a cow on the front. I know, I know. I, I just think it's funny. Oh, puppies. Oh my God, that dog is so cute. It's like an Alaskan Malamut. Anyway, one more fun shirt that I can never get rid of. This is a, just like a regular t-shirt. I think it's uh, Adidas. No, it's Reebok. So a friend of mine in college worked at Reebok and she went on the Camino de Santiago with me. And essentially um, we started switching clothes because uh, we ended up liking each other's clothes better than the ones that we had. So this is the shirt that I basically wore like a lot of the Camino um, that I can never get rid of. I finished the Camino in this shirt. I like ran into Santiago in this shirt. So it holds a lot of sentimental value, a lot of things, as well as this is another one that I'm like really kind of sad that it's getting a little bit destroyed, but um, this is from Lyon. And it's a Camino de Santiago um, Leon shirt. So Leon is one of the major cities we stayed in. I loved Leon. It was not my favorite. Pamplona was always gonna be my favorite, but both of these are getting put into the keepsake pile. That one, cause I don't wanna wear it anymore cause I feel like it's gonna get worn out. And this one, because I just like, I feel like if I'm gonna wear it again, I should be on the Camino, you know? So maybe one day I'll wear it again, but all these keepsake ones are gonna get put into a thing. And then eventually I'm gonna send them to a place that makes them into quilts. So that's why I'm gathering them together. What's been going on with writing? Basically, I just feel like I've kind of lost my mojo when it comes to writing. And here's what the weird thing is. I would say it's burnout, except for the fact that I know that it's not burnout. So what's weird about this current timeline that we're living in with me is that I'm having a really hard time starting writing. And once I'm in the character's head, like it's totally fine. And it's just like a great time and I'm, I flow and it's, it's nice and I'm starting the scenes. Oh, I hate this shirt. Is what is become the problem. So in book, whoops. That's gonna have to be bleeped. Yeah, just accidentally said the too many characters' names for Cruel Summer. <laughs> Oops, theirs is going really well. The beginning of the book needs a rewrite, and then I think it's a little smoother, and then I'll probably need to rewrite the back half. Another turtleneck. I know for a fact that neither of these shirts, if any of these shirts, were worn in the last six months because they're still folded last time I put them there. This one as well. Oh, but that one's cute. Okay, this one is going in my sleep shirt pile. These ones are getting donated. Yet another shirt that I just don't wear. So getting donated. And that's the end of this pile. I'm gonna put them in here, get my next one, and then we can finish up this chat. And we're back. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. <laughs> this is another shirt my mom bought me. She has this just determination in life to buy us matching clothes so we can go on our hawker walks and wear them together. I feel the sentiment in my soul. So if you ever see two women walking two very large dogs in matching t-shirts, you know it's us. I have now pulled out my pajama drawer, uh, which is just clothes that I wear to bed and don't leave my room when I'm wearing them. Some of them you'll have seen me wear because uh, I won't lie to you, sometimes I film in my pajamas. I love this shirt. I got this when I was in college <laughs> and I thought it was so funny because it says on the back of it, um, it is rocket science. It, it is it is rocket science because it's, it's NASA. Anyway, I love this t-shirt to death. This shirt is like literally threadbare, see-through, um, so we're not keeping it. Neat. Because I've been struggling to get started, essentially. Even though both of the stories that I'm writing are ones that I'm really excited about and I don't wanna be writing anything else, I think it's just I am afraid of what happens after I finish both of them. Like, I will then go back to not knowing, I'll then go back to sitting in a room, conjuring my next moves in my writing career, and I am just simply not ready. <laughs> So I think that's why I'm hesitating. But once I get into it, I'm like, oh, why did I ever stop? Because I love writing so much. Like, it's my thing. I think I just have to keep powering through. That's really the, the only thing that I can do at this point. I wore this shirt on a date with a guy who then told me he was going to the Peace Corps. So that was a shocker. Wonder if he ever did. No idea. This is a fun shirt to wear to bed. Still dreaming. Yeah, this is why this is called Mountain because you're not getting any true advice, just me rambling. I wore this to the premiere of uh, Infinity War and I wore it a lot because I worked in a movie store. I wear it on Sundays, it's gotten very old um, because that was movie restock day and I would sweat a lot during movie restock day so I wore this. Random, Random Katie things. things. I miss that job, can you tell? So yeah, it's just, it's been a bit of a struggle to exist outside of actually being in the writing groove which I think I might attribute that to the fact that I was on such a big writing binge at the beginning of the year. Um, I'm currently at 250,000 words written for the entire year, which is insane. And that does not count most of my edited words, um, which I don't count those because it's hard to keep track of. And I like to keep track of only my drafting words. Like how much have I drafted? This is a shirt that my brother gave me. I think I wore this shirt like 
before I got in my dress for his wedding. I'm just gonna put that in the keepsake pile. <laughs> this thing is fucking ancient. I wore this, this is like a beach cover up thing that I wore four, five, over, oh, six years ago now? Anyway, I'll insert a picture of the vacation that I went on when I wore this a lot. I have a lot of workout clothes in here. Do I just think I'm gonna sleep in my workout gear? Cause I don't do that. But good news, if you like my vlogs, I've started a new technique. The idea was given to me by my good friend Hudson, talking about writing and like vlogging in general and like showing yourself on the internet. And so I'm doing a bunch of long form vlog content, um, filming over several days, several months, several weeks during different portions of my experience, my writing journey. So it's gonna be less like weekly vlogging, daily vlogs, um, except for the Worldwide Write-a-thon. That'll be a full vlog in and of itself, um, but that's like a short set of time. Be more subjected to this is the goal for the vlog and the vlog won't end until that goal's reached. So I have a couple of those in the process, uh, which is why I had to make some of this non-tent because I don't have anything for <laughs> this week. I was gonna make a mood board video, but I got halfway through scripting the mood board video, like the, are these shorts or are these pants? Hogwarts house pants that I don't want anymore. These are ancient and need to be thrown out. These are my college sweatpants. I call them my ugly pants because they're kind of ugly, but uh, these were like the pants that I put on when I needed comfort, uh, which was a lot of times after a very long day. So I already have many new pairs of comfort pants. These are my like original pair. I'm gonna keep this because it's from the same vacation that other top is from, um, but I did buy it there. We went to Topsail Island uh, with my friends. It was a great trip, super fun. I miss going on trips, which I've, I'm going on a trip in like a month. So gonna get a Nora built t-shirt probably. <gasps> and here it is. The yes, the resistance, my move in shirt that I made into a crop top because they only had like one size um, and it was gigantic, um, which was nice, you know, inclusion, inclusionary. But it was too tight, weirdly, but also too long. We made ours into crop tops. And here it is. Move in. Because we helped the freshmen move in. I think I was, a, I'd have been a sophomore this year in 2018. It was the year I lived there as well. So I had to move myself in and then I had to move everyone else in and half the building was closed for renovation. So we couldn't use half the entrances. And so it was a lot of, a lot of, a lot of steps. I probably had many steps that day, but going in the keepsake pile. And then this is a summer honors program shirt that I did not participate in. I did not do the summer honors program, like camp, camp counseling thing, but this is also for my uh, college, same one as this. And I didn't do this. Um, I wasn't chosen, but my friend was, and she gave me this, uh, she got me a shirt, an extra shirt. It says I was, but I wasn't. And with that, and a Tigger sock that I'm never gonna wear again, I have to do my socks next. The non 10 is over. Thank you for being here and just listening to me ramble for a while. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below. It does help out my channel. And if you wanna see more of my rambling face, you can subscribe. I promise I don't do non 10 all the time, but I've been having a lot of health struggles and this is the best I can do at the moment. Plus I'm trying to get some long form content on the go. And then as time passes with my long form content, hopefully that will come out at a regular basis. I know I still have a first page critique to do, many other things. I have lots of video ideas, just no energy to make them, so. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Nonten. I hope you are doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.